1990 Featherlight here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And would you believe this is a one owner trailer? Pretty, pretty unusual that someone's owned one trailer that darn long. Um, generally took pretty good shape of it, but over that you know amount of time span, you can imagine there's been some use put into the trailer, of course. Uh, I have a handy little cheat sheet of things here, so if I sound a little scripted at times, I'm kind of reading while I'm walking and talking and pointing the camera at stuff. Um, what I can see here is, again, something that has been used but has been maintained. It, it wouldn't be around. I mean, it wouldn't still be here if it wasn't well built and well maintained. The drop feeder windows here are a nice little touch. Um, the uh, Let's just start running through this stuff. This is a seven tall, eight wide, uh, three horse with a uh, 12 foot living quarter and mid tack. So she actually stretches out pretty long, pretty fast. It has a rather um, unique by today's standards arrangement back here with a, uh, a left side um, rear tack door. Uh, the uh, saddle rack here can telescope out, it can swing out. You just simply pull a little pin at the bottom there. Um, over here, we have a uh, right side top tail curtain with bottom side half ramp door. Not something you often see today, though it actually was pretty common in years past. Uh, pretty good size awning on here. Um, I, uh, I don't have any notes on you know anything scary about the awning, so all I can assume at this stage is that it's in uh, okay working order. Always call and double check. Uh, the uh, horse area back here, by and large, pretty sharp. I mean, uh, you know, I was expecting, I was expecting it to be pretty worked over. I was pretty surprised at the shape it's in. You know, it's it's uh, it's really not bad. You can tell she kept it swept out, cleaned out. You can see that the uh, the stalls here are not just really shredded from some buck snorting, uh, you know, um, stud or anything like that. You can see that your uh, padding here uh, looks to be original factory padding, judging by the screws on it. This has not been like chewed on by a horse or anything like that. I mean, really, it's in pretty good shape in here, and that's kind of been my impression through the whole thing. I see a 1990 anything come in, and I go, oh, man, what are we going to get into here? But, I mean, it's solid. Look, I mean, the thickness of the fiberglass kick wall back here, it, it was definitely built to last, and it has performed and done so. It has done exactly what it was intended to do. I'll give you a quick peek at the mid-tack here. And this looks like it was used as a uh, just general all-purpose storage utility room, but that's exactly what this thing is supposed to be, is a general all-purpose storage room. Um, the uh, Hop into the living quarter up here. Oops. Now that we're inside here, a few more of my notes become applicable, and I don't have any power run to the unit currently, so if it does get a little dark in places, I apologize. This has twin 35-gallon um, water tanks, so you will have a pretty good, um, you know, off the trailer, off the park sort of capacity. Uh, the, uh, oh, here we go, I just saw a note. 15 foot awning needs repairing. I do not know the details of that at the time of this filming. Obviously that just came as a surprise to me while I'm doing my notes here, but remember that we did take the time to at least let you know that there's something uh, to inquire about. Um, the refrigerator, which is an 8.3 cubic foot fridge, which is about 33% bigger than you normally find in a living quarter, that was installed in 2005, so the original uh, fridge has been replaced, but what's nice is they did it with a full RV, gas, and electric fridge, so again, you can use it when it's cold, or when you're not hooked up to power. Uh, I was thinking of cold because there's a 16,000 BTU furnace that was added here, and that you can use in the cold. Uh, my understanding is the spare tire is not in good working order. Please take that into account. There are also five hardwired solar panels permanently mounted to the roof of this thing to keep your batteries topped off. So as far as I can tell, uh, the previous owner of this trailer either did a lot of trail riding way off in the woods in the middle of nowhere, or they did uh, shows where you pull in and you're at a dirt lot and that's where you're going to be for the day. Uh, that's, that's kind of the impression that I have here. Um, the uh, other note that I had indicated that there was some kind of leak in the bathroom roof here. And if you give me a minute, I'm going to kick on some kind of light for us here. And I don't really see any signs of water penetration. I think what they may be discussing is it looks like over here some things have been repaired. 
I think in the past there had been a leak and they had uh, gone over it with some new wall paneling here and they had arrested whatever was happening. But again, this is the, with the age of this trailer, this the pictures, the video, all that stuff is well and good. You need to come put your hands on one of these in person before you go making any kind of permanent purchase decisions. Uh, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Happy trails.